What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle, back to another video. And in today's video, we are back with the 335IS and it's just sitting there looking very pretty. This is one of those cars, guys, that I'm literally trying to perfect to the T, every little detail with this thing. And that's what we actually have over here. We are actually missing one thing and it hasn't came in yet, but I'm not gonna wait for that thing because it's just taking way too long. And that thing is the wheel. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, not the wheel, like, I don't know why my, my terms are completely off the past couple of videos, but as you guys can see, this window trim all around here is completely cracked up. Like, like disintegrated as for the top here as well i actually found out by a close friend that you actually don't need to remove the windshield to replace that all this stuff can easily be pulled off and then replaced from the outside that's not actually the thing that's sealing the window to the car so it's actually a very 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 easy replacement i'll be showing you guys how to replace that when the time comes and other things we're trying to perfect is this little piece right here that goes on the door i actually mentioned this in the last video guys it's when you guys reach actually a couple of guys actually reached out telling me what this part is exactly and this is apparently held out by just some 3m tape from bmw like some like oem strong tape and that's all that's really held down by so i'm super happy that is actually a replaceable part that's what we got over there as well and again we have so many things for the front end of the car the sides everything to try to get everything back together the way it's supposed to be that oem feel that i've been eagerly trying to achieve see so yeah, guys this is an oem bmw part i'll go ahead and show you guys the part number it's right over here so this is the part number for this piece that goes on the side so if yours is cracked this is the part that you need it has like some kind of like i don't know if that's 3m or some i'm hoping it's not cheap it is an oem part so uh very light it feels really flimsy and cheap but i feel like should be an easy install so we'll install this i feel like the hard part is to actually take off that one because that one's super hard to take off we got some more sensors these are actually the sensors that came off my brother's uh, rear bumper because he did a pdc delete so we actually have some sensors that i think should work for this car um we are throwing a pdc error for the front bumper i'm not really too sure which one of these four sensors are gone bad we did plug them all in but one of them are not working so we're gonna go ahead and check out what's the issue with that one so we actually get the bumper off we have both horns that we're getting from pick and pull for ten dollars that is a huge score because we need both horns we got a couple turn signals i don't know if there's any difference between these and the one that's on the car this one has like a white bulb in it these all have yellow bulbs so i'm assuming these are all from e90s or i mean even e92 that i saw comes with the, the the white bulbs i mean the yellow bulbs so i'm not really too sure um you know what's going on there but yeah worst comes to worst i do have a pair so we'll just replace both of them so at least both of them match and then the 335 is right here guys this thing from bmw that's the part number right there cost me 50 dollars for this little emblem that goes on the fender again we're trying to restore this to the t so i really wanted this to be perfect so we got the original one there and then we finally got this this is a, i believe an oem order uh no it's not an oem order i like oem part and uh basically this just needs to be painted but i'm gonna put it on for now but we'll need to be painted finally got this other duct guys this cost me a hundred and fifty dollars very expensive part but we want to keep this again as oem as possible we got the grills right there we got some gloss black grills i actually didn't want to go with the double din ones this time i wanted to keep it as oem as possible these aren't oem grills but this is oem style so I don't know. Let me know down below, guys, if I should went with a carbon fiber or like the double din ones or something like that. Let me know down below. But I think this is the style that I'm happy with. So uh, I think I made the right choice. Now, I could have actually got the right uh, amber light ones, um, the ones that are actually orange. But I think those are kind of ugly. So I decided to get some blacked out ones. And I think it actually might match up with the paint pretty nicely. So uh, yeah, we got both of those brand new. When you get them used, the problem is it is super hard to get them on the bumper. So I got these new. I'm going to heat it up really good and stop it on the bumper. Hopefully it sticks really good. And then last but not least, we actually have both fender liners for the front so it will no longer look naked like that or actually look complete it looks super good and once we actually lower this thing yes we're going to be lowering it it should really come together also for those of you guys who don't know i actually ordered a bunch of modifications for this car as well we ordered some like modification stuff uh, not crazy modifications but some like lightweight modifications a bunch of carbon fiber and then uh, we got some wheel spacers and a couple of the things to just perfect this thing i also have coilovers it's already here i think it's in my other house um so yeah we have a bunch of things for this car we're going to start modifying it before we actually start modifying anything i do want to make sure this car is absolutely perfect looking beautiful before we start doing any more modifications to the car so without further ado let's go ahead and get the car inside the garage and just start working on this i've been just so eagerly trying to work on this car because i really want to drive it it's like a car that's literally like honestly just needs a smog and it's legal on the roads i already have the title um so, i mean not the title i mean i have the title but not the title under my name yet um so i'm really trying to get the title under my name and i just really 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 uh, want to start enjoying this car and just start driving it around a little bit and then possibly later in this video guys i actually see my boy blake come over to help me figure out what's going on with my e36 because it's leaking a lot of clutch fluid and uh, i actually ordered a cable i believe yes it's this one right here it's called a chase bathed line um so this one should literally bypass all those oem lines and uh, make life a whole lot easier so we're gonna try to replace it with this guy right here and that should hopefully fix our problem again blake's gonna come over and help me with that because i didn't actually do the pedal stuff and the last time i did that pick a pull and actually removing the pedal for the manual swap myself i pick a pull i cut my hand really badly and it took me four hours to remove a pedal assembly i don't know why it took me so long blake 
literally took him probably like an hour to do everything, and that's with him struggling as well. So I don't know why it took me so long. But anyways, Blake's gonna be helping us. A so shout out to him. Should be coming later today. But again, let's go ahead and get the car in the garage because I just want to start working on this front bumper. It is looking too, too, too naked right now. Plus, we really need that emblem, guys. So I think the first things first guys that I want to go ahead and start working on is just getting the horns on the car, connecting the horns and just get everything else situated behind the bumper um, so that we can actually reassemble the bumper, even get the sensor situated because if I get in the car right now, we have a PDC fault and it's not telling us which one, literally none of the PDCs are working and it's not telling us which one is the issue. Obviously this car got hit in the front on this side so we're going to go ahead and just replace those two sensors and if that still doesn't work, we're probably going to end up uh, like either checking the wiring or something like that because maybe the wiring wires got snipped as well. But yeah, that's all stuff once you actually remove that front bumper. Just like that guys, we actually got the horn in on that side, the horn on this side connected, ready to go. So at this point, I did play out the sensors just a little bit, and uh, this sensor right here um, is the original sensor. I didn't actually play it because it doesn't look damaged. This one doesn't look damaged either. Um, those two are the ones I replaced because one of them is damaged. Like, it, it looks like the connectors are still there, but it is damaged, and then this one right here is bent as well. I don't know if that really makes a difference. Maybe there's something internally damaged on either one of these. So I moved both of those. I placed them with two other ones um, that connected just fine, so uh, hopefully they should work. Thankfully, they're also black, so all four of the sensors are black. Um, so let's go ahead, check in the car and see if our PDC sensors work. Because if it starts beeping anywhere, um, that means they're working. So that'd be a great big plus. Moment of truth. Uh, so working on cars, guys, is probably one of the most satisfying things ever. Like, if you actually get something to work, it just ooh, it makes you feel so good. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I have to turn on the, I may have to turn on the car. Woo! Dang, that sounds good. All right, putting the car in reverse. Please hear some beeping noises. Yes! <laughs> yes, guys! As you guys saw earlier, none of this stuff was working. Now it's all working, so yes, guys, we're in business. That's what I'm talking about. So thankfully, it's not our wiring. It's just these two crappy sensors. So uh, yes, <laughs> that is a huge win right there. So now that we got the sensors dialed in, the horns dialed in, we have the two grills right there. This side, we only have one grill, and we're still missing the grill for this. So now that we got it, let's go ahead and install it. Uh, this is the one that actually we had to end up replacing, so I'm hoping everything's gonna line up good. I guess we'll find out once we start reassembling everything, but yeah, we do have the new ducts, so let's go ahead and install that. And lucky me, I, f I just remembered that there's an LCI and pre-LCI. I'm, I'm just having such a bad time. I've ordered pre-LCI grills. I forgot the LCI ones are slightly bigger. Now, unfortunately, we do have to order some new grills, but the fortunate part is that we can do it even with the bumper on, so we don't have to ever remove the bumper to put on those two things. I think we have everything on the car, the horns, the sensors, the grills, everything we need um, before actually reassembling the bumper. So um, once we actually put back this bumper, we never have to remove it again, which is gonna be super satisfying. And I actually just remembered something. We're gonna be putting this back on as well because this is the under belly pan and again i want everything like oem this came with the car i think the belly pan's in good shape yeah i mean um i think it's I th yeah i think it's still in good shape it has a little bit of a crack there but it should still work like it has those two mounting in the center the two yeah these should still work just fine let me know guys should i actually put this back on or just leave it off the car i mean i don't really know i normally don't put it on but this car i'm trying to make it everything's perfect but at the same time this is such an unnecessary thing like i prefer not having this so if you drop something in the engine bay or if you're trying to work on the engine bay um you don't have to keep removing the 18 bolts to get this pan off so again let me know down below the, the car does have zero leaks as of now it doesn't look like we're gonna be needing to do any maintenance any anytime soon, but it is still making that knocking sound. We may need to still actually replace the belt, and to replace the belt, we're gonna have to remove the fan. To remove the fan, we need to go down there and move that bolt down there and the bolt up there. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. <laughs> Next thing on the bucket list, I'm trying to avoid things that need heat right now. I know that's gonna need some heat. I know that's gonna need some heat. This is not gonna need any heat, so uh, let's go ahead and install that. Now, I know this is gonna need some paint, but uh, I just wanna make sure that's actually gonna clip in the way it's gonna be. I didn't find anyone selling this properly on eBay, but I mean, that looks like 
Ah, nope, it's not clipping on properly. So let's put the bumper on the car and actually see if this is the right part for it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I actually completely forgot. We actually need to put these on. So let's go ahead and get the bumper back off and actually install these two. I think we just need a heat gun and these should go on pretty easy. I'm really hoping that this has some decent like stickiness because if it doesn't, um, it's gonna be kind of a mission to get these to be on there. Guys, this legitimately took me about 45 minutes and it looks terrible and uh, it is what it is. I mean, this is behind the bumper. You're not even gonna see it. It's just super hard to get all this glue off of it. Even my drill tool, the magic eraser, it couldn't get in these grooves. So like I literally have to use some kind of picking tool, which I mean, shout out to my mom. She actually got this from Dollar Tree for me as a little gift and uh, it's actually helping out. So I'm just gonna go and let this sit for a little bit. Uh, pretty much you have the 3M. I actually put a little bit of super glue just to make sure it sits there. So I'm just gonna leave it for a minute and make sure it adheres properly. In the meantime though, uh, we do have the wheel guards for the fronts and I kinda wanna throw both of those on right now cause it wouldn't hurt. And uh, I think it'll just make a lot, e it'll just make it a whole lot easier because then we we'll slap on the bumper, put in all the screws. And I just think, it, 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 what well, we have to wait, you know, we have to wait for something, might as well do something else. So uh, let's go ahead and get the car up on one side, take off the wheel and just start working on putting in that fender line. I'm hoping this side goes in easy because this is the side I ordered. I hope it's the right part. Um, the other one, I know it's gonna fit because it came with the car. <laughs> Just like that, we have this side fully bolted on, the screws all on the top lined up, so that was really good. I'm super happy with all of that. And then actually the one down here that attaches to the grill, the, the air duct, uh, bolted in perfectly. So I think I'm just missing like a little uh, trim piece here. So I do think this is the right one. I'm just missing like a little like mesh grill, uh, but not a big deal. At least this will mount and everything should mount properly. And at least now we're not gonna have any weird looking uh, wheel wells, which is super nice. This side is perfect to be expected. This one came off of the car. Also got that bolt down there for the air duct. So uh, perfecto. At this point, I think the bumper is ready to be put back on. So uh, let's get it on. I am super stoked. Bada bing, bada bang. Just put on the hood emblem as well. Looking so much better, guys. I mean, goodness gracious. This car has come such a long way. And if you guys just look at the fitment, I just think that looks absolutely amazing. I mean, I mean, I just wish we had the grills too. Um, As for this, I'm actually gonna order a can of the exact same black. I think it's called Jet Black 2 or something. And I'm gonna see how close does it actually get to the original pink. Because I'm pretty sure if I put two layers of that with clear coat on top, it should be pretty much almost identical. It's only a little cap. Like, even if it's a little off, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, uh, because I know pretty much costing to paint this, it probably run me about fifty to one hundred dollars. So if I could just go ahead and just get a can for twenty five bucks from BMW, I think that end up being pretty cool. And I actually just want to test the theory. Like, will a can actually get this to match? I think it'll. I think it'll look pretty good. So we're gonna give that a shot. But yeah, guys, it is looking amazing. This intake duct is lining up perfectly, and this is the side that got hit. So I'm super happy about that. This is uh, lining up perfectly as well. Again, the hood gaps just look super, super, super good all the way around. And we 
we just got the wheel guards in there. We got the new sensors in there. We got the new horns in there. We got the emblem on there. It's just really coming together. I mean, that's like, that's sticking out like a sore thumb. But I mean, other than that, <laughs> it's really coming together. So a few of the things that we get to install is uh, the turn signal and then this right here. So I really want to install these guys real quick. I'm actually going to remove... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's just go ahead and install one of these for now. I mean, I don't even know if they're going to fit, honestly. These are E91. So, uh, okay. This side by side looks pretty much the exact same part. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, that one just has like a white LED bulb in there and this one does not. Uh, but yeah, it has the exact same part numbers too. So we have the side for this side and we also have the side for the other side. I don't know if I should just go ahead and just put the, the yellow ones on both sides so at least they're both matching or put the other one for now and then try to get the white bulb to replace it later. I don't know, I just, I have this set right now. I feel like, I just feel like I should, I, I'm just gonna go with these. <laughs> Let's just do that. Before, and that's the after guys so i replaced the entire thing and that's how this one's looking right now and this is how this one's looking right now so we finally installed this one as well this one didn't even have it so we just got that one in there as well um at this point let's try to go ahead and line up the 335 is emblem super excited to throw that on so i actually watched this video on instagram on how people actually line this up on both sides so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i saw and hopefully it works i mean i hope it works Guys, that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look how good that is. So we just finished up this side as well now. We got the light now. We got the 335 IS badge. This is the OEM badge. It's looking so, so, so good. So the method I actually tried, it kind of worked. So basically I realized uh, having it uh, like bordered all the way around is super, super sketchy because if I have any of the, the, the emblem on the tape itself, when I peel up the tape, it's gonna peel up the emblem. So I decided to take off the border, the bottom borderline, and just have the top borderline as a guiding pin. And it worked out perfectly so i'm super happy about that and they're literally matching you did the finger test as well and they're both looking super good so super happy about that now the last thing that's really been bugging me other than the grills that we don't have unfortunately um is this guy and also the window the window trim we need to do the window trim as well once that comes in i'll probably do it at the grills and we'll do all that together but any hoozles the window trim <laughs> the window trim i don't know how i'm gonna get this off i'm gonna go ahead and use some heat try to get this thing off and then hopefully put on the new one i'm hoping i, I don't mess it up putting on the new one because i think it's like 60 dollars and it's not cheap Guys, actually getting all that off was actually very easy since it's on the glass itself. Just using a razor blade gets all that off. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit more. And then uh, yeah, just heat this thing up and it should just go right on in. It should be pretty easy. I am super stoked because that was a big deal for me. Guys, look how good that looks. Oh my God. I showed you guys the part number earlier. If you guys have a problem with this, literally just peel it all up. It's on the glass. You're not breaking the glass. Do not worry. Just don't use anything other than like a flathead or a squeegee. I mean, don't use a flathead. <laughs> do not use a flathead. Use a squeegee to get behind you because if you use a flathead or something, you might crack the glass because it's basically on the glass. It's entirely on the glass. But yeah, guys, <laughs> this is looking so much better. Little details like this was pissing me off so much. Now that is fixed. Nothing from this side is damaged anymore. Got the wheel liner, everything in there. We got the grills and everything in there. We're just missing those two grills. And then, uh, yeah, we just need to get that painted. Um, we got everything. The wheel liner is back in there. The 335 IS logo. Everything on this side is good to go. And I'm one happy man. And uh, I think we're pretty much good to go at this point. Blake should literally be here at any moment. I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much start cleaning up because I am so excited to drive the E36 M3 back home. I ha that car has been sitting there for literally a week and a half and I've been driving the truck, spending so much money on gas. You guys know how much gas is nowadays. So I'm super stoked to take the E36 M3 home. We just need to fix that stupid line. Once we get that fixed, we are all grave in the name. We're free sailing, guys. I'm gonna be so happy, oh my Lord. Something about that car, guys, is it, just, I love it so much. So I think it's the fact that, you know, if anything happens to it, I'm not tripping. If somebody hits it at a parking lot, I'm not tripping. If somebody scratches it at a parking lot, I'm not tripping. If I drift it into a wall, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so I think that's the reason I love it so much. At the same time, now it's a manual and if I beat on it so hard i'm still not even breaking any laws because it, it's not that fast like it's crazy but slower cars are actually a lot of fun because you get to feel like you're going full throttle you're going through all the gears but you're at 60 miles an hour which is pretty awesome and about 45 minutes later uh, my guess was actually wrong it took about 45 minutes but my boy blake is here 
What up, guys? What's going on, guys? So Blake's actually here to help me fix a problem because I don't. I'm, I'm just like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not that intricate with the whole clutch pedal. It took me four hours. I think he just doesn't want to do hand. it. I think he just. Bro, it took me it. four hours to remove <laughs> that, and I left pick and pull with like a bleeding hand. So we'll I was make like, it happen. We'll okay. Make it happen. So Blake, yeah, he's a professional. He's gonna help us do it. Um, but we're actually upgrading some things at the same time. So yeah. we're replacing the only part that we brought used. Right. And this whole conversion. Let's go check it and out. And it just so happens to be the only issue that we have with this conversion. The clutch cylinder right here. Um, also, we have this little nipple. We didn't replace the nipple when we did it on the car. Uh, we did do a brand new hose and we did it from the thing. There's a possibility, literally only this, or <laughs> there's a possibility that it's this, or there's a possibility there's that it's that. Possibility that it's the line, so we put in a new hard line from Pick and Pull that we went and uh, That was such a pain, car. dude. But the whole issue was, from the beginning, the only person that actually made it correctly is Chase Bays, and that will just click right in here. The other ones- <laughs> Bro, we need to double check that with yeah. my luck, bro. Just make sure that goes in there. You don't wanna put it in there right now. Oh, okay, because it might well, get too hard? Okay, all right. Well, it'll go, it'll go. <laughs> okay. But anyways, it's, it's, the, it's the proper style of fitting. So we can put that in there and then it should be good to go. Now this one's actually one piece. So the other one was literally from this hard line to a steel braided piece, which we got from Garagistic, which it's cool if you already have one in your car, it's a good replacement piece. But if you don't, I'd recommend this because it's one piece, a little bit longer, and then boom, we can put it right into the uh, clutch slave, uh, right into the yeah little throw out fork area right there. So this thing will work real nice. All right, my boy, you ended up getting it out? Oh, you had yeah. the whole thing out, what the heck? Yeah, I took the whole thing out because it was easier because um, it's literally four bolts down there. Uh, the actual part though that seems like it's leaking, we're gonna replace it all because we're here, but it's that nipple at the top uh, okay. with the hose. So that was the problem. Literally, I think if you put in a new that new nipple that we had, I think it honestly would have took care of the problem. Um, so it doesn't actually look like it was a cylinder even leaking. Uh, it was just leaking from the top. So, but, since well, we're, we're already here, here. And we got the new line, we're gonna make it happen because it's gonna be all new and then we're not gonna have any issues. So I took all this out. This is a little, it's a little complicated. Um, M3, what is his name? M3 Nice, M, M3 Nice or something like Who's that. Who's that? I don't even know what you're talking uh, about. It's another YouTuber kid. He ah. for Throttle. Anyways, he has a really good layout of how all this stuff works. I could do that, but that's gonna take forever. No one wants to watch that. So if you're <laughs> looking at the specific stuff, he has a really good uh, video series on the whole swap, and it'll show you like how all of this stuff mounts, because everything kind of like comes apart, clutch pedals, all the springs, and he goes over all that stuff, so it's really cool. If you guys are uh, wondering a little more in detail. So basically guys, this is what we ended up getting out of the car. I upgraded this line. It turns out that's actually inconvenient because you have to still have to use this line. So replacing all of this with the Chase Spades line, right? Did I say that right? Yeah, Chase Spades, got it. <laughs> so yeah, basically instead of using all of this, again, this whole operation, we just connect it directly into that. And then that goes into this guy right there. Um, literally it goes straight from your uh, clutch pedal straight into where it activates in the transmission. So that's pretty sick. So that's one line that does all of that, which is much easier. We should just do that from the start. Much, much easier, yeah. If I we only- this, I thought this line was way more expensive, but honestly, in the grand scheme of I think things, it's honestly the same price, isn't right, it? Right, purchasing this was I think probably $50. Yeah. I think this was- six, Oh, 70, 70. 70. Okay, so yeah, I was but like $20 more. to go get this. <laughs> and, and that the, was a pain. And the time and the labor. Yeah, it just wasn't worth it. Way worth getting this to begin with. So yeah, guys, at this point, we're just gonna try to figure out a way to get that into that. It's being kind of a pain. Uh, Once we get that in there, we can just route that down, connect that, get to go, no more leak. Guys, so after about a little bit of finicking, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see Blake finicking like crazy on this. Um, this line, I don't know if that's the problem, and this is, so I got this Miff's Hero, which is an FT, what is it's it called? A, it's an FHE. Sorry. FHE, okay, so that's a good brand, and that is supposedly a good brand too. Yeah. And those <laughs> would not connect. Dude, I don't know what's going on, dude. It would not work for nothing. I literally shaved the inside of this with an X-Acto knife until it would fit, and I heated it up, and then squeezed it together with all my might, except still, it needs to go in there further, and this just, just, just isn't the same. This fitting is just not made, like, it'll probably work, but 
Anyways, it did that. There's like a little bar piece where it cuts out and I just smashed this thing in here. There's a chance this thing could pop out. I don't know. At this point, we need to drive it out of the driveway. So yeah, we're just gonna works, install it, it anyways. Awesome. If it doesn't, uh, whatever. I literally made a video to send to Chase Bays to be like, yo, what the heck? So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay. hopefully if it is a problem, um, they can address it or I don't know, bro. I don't want to blame exactly anybody. The same. I don't want to blame anyone either, but all I know is it doesn't work. <laughs> I made it work. <laughs> he made it work. So, so hopefully it works, but I mean, he, Blake just wanted to put it out there. If you guys see a leak again, it's not his fault for doing the install. It's something to do with the parts, 100%. I guess we're just going to have to figure it out. This literally should have gone, whoop, and then a clip should have gone, click, and that should have been- We should have been done an hour I ago, I literally dude. had to work on this for like 45 minutes. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Any hizzles. All right, let's just go ahead and get that in there, guys. Just connect it to the slave cylinder and just call it a day, guys. <laughs> it shouldn't have been a long and lengthy process. And guys, I saw my glasses on, bro. I literally don't even feel it anymore. <laughs> hey, you needed those, though. What happened earlier? That shit was crazy. <laughs> I literally put brake fluid all over my face. Thankfully, we're all good. Yeah, he squirted the, uh, he pressed the, what slave, was it? Cylinder. The slave cylinder. And it squirted, and it, it, it like, like shot me right here. So thankfully, like, it wasn't, oh uh, thankfully I had my glasses on and everything, but. That's why you gotta wear them. But yeah, again, bro, thank you for coming out yeah, today. No we got it done. That was a job that I knew was gonna be bad, but Blake did not think it was gonna be this bad. It ended up being better than we both thought. Long story short, it's done. It's done. I it looks it like good. it's working, right? Like, so far when you put it down the clutch? It should be. It okay. feels like it, we bled the clutch out. Uh, there was a ton of air in it, obviously, because it's a brand new line. So yeah, we put the new bleeder system on there, got it all pumped out. Feels nice and firm now, so I think we'll be Good to go on that. I'm gonna be driving it home today, so wish me luck, guys. At the same time, we are still getting a lot of things for the E30. No, we're getting a lot of things for the 55 IS, guys. So stay tuned. After this car, I did actually get some wrap. So gonna be pretty sick. Gonna be wrapping this car pretty soon. Blake, you ever wrapped a car before, bro? No. Do you want to come see how you do it for a little bit? I will help. Okay, so Blake's gonna be wrapping this car for the first time. Oh no, I mean I did the trunk on my M. I've wrapped things. Oh okay, okay. All right, never mind. Then you wrapped something before. before. I've okay. wrapped grills. I've wrapped. Ah, right, then I right. haven't wrapped like a whole car. Fender. A whole car. <laughs> yeah, right? pretty much. Yeah. Wrapped small stuff. But yeah, guys, new stuff to look forward to. But without further ado, we're gonna have to conclude it, bro. We're just both super tired. I'm sure both of our yeah. girls are kind of upset with us right now. Friday night, you know, <laughs> working on cars, making them work. We need so. to get home. So uh, yeah, I, we're checking out. Again, thank you for everything, bro. Yeah, no problem. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember, oh wait, no, hold on. Subscribe to Blake down below, guys. Hey, <laughs> He's trying to get to, to 100K, so get, get him there, guys. Check that out. The Check that out. <laughs> merch. He has I got, I got new, new merch on uh, on the website, too. I got new e I got an E36 shirt that's a black E36 track car. Pretty sick. Rinchon.com. I'll throw it in there. Link's gonna be down below, guys. So, again, if you guys like Blake on this channel, I know a lot of you guys like Blake on this channel. I know a lot of people are saying that you're very educated on the things that you do, and he's always telling me, like, I'm winging it. So, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get this guy to know a little bit more. I'm, I'm stressed. And the thing is with me, bro, I always look at, like, the like the outcome. of like, oh, if I'm not gonna finish it by tonight, I'm not gonna get started. Blake's like, we're gonna start it, and whatever happens, happens. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> I made that shit happen, so I don't know, dude. It worked. I mean, this hopefully, well, no. If this I, if one I is today, like, this one's here. It's 50 50, bro. This one's here. Right now, feels great. I think you're going to make it home. Uh, it's not to say that it couldn't pop out at some point in time, but I think I'm giving it, I'm, I'm going to say that now because if I say it's good, then it won't be. Exactly. So it's garbage. But yeah, without further ado, guys, make sure to check out Blake's channel. Link down below. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Putting it in gear. Please let this be good. Ah, we're moving. We're moving. Peace out, guys. <laughs>